Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Today, you're very lucky because this is the first day I'm actually using some decent equipment to record this. So rather than my previous webcam and uh, mic combination direct to PC uh, recordings, which I had issues with Windows 10 uh, corrupting the audio, I've actually gone uh, and spent some money on a new camera. So you're seeing this recording via a Panasonic GH4 uh, Lumix with a 14-140mm lens uh, set all the way back so it'll be at 14 setting um, just standard out of the box with a 64 gigabyte memory card and I can tell you so far that I know the results will be better um, just purely from what I can see on the little uh, TFT screen next to it I can see the audio bars, everything's recording well I'm waiting for a uh, Rode shotgun mic to go on the top so the sound should be even further improved but I think you'll find it's far better than what was happening before. So this is going to be a review of my POV HD uh, action cam. Um, I picked this up you can see there, I picked this up as, as a Gumtree purchase they're uh, in the shops now for £499 I got this for £80 so the person who was selling this um, wasn't getting much interest in it because they were pitching it in their advert as an action cap like these Garmin's or GoPro's and as you know these are great full of features and completely aimed at a different market so whoever's if you turn up to buy a GoPro and you see one of these huge things with this big heavy duty wire you're not going to be interested so I'll just tell you what it comes in you have the high def camera here connected to the main body via a waterproof uh, M8 connector you have the uh, main unit which has a screen on it so you can configure uh, the video it runs on batteries there's a sealed back unit on it, runs off AA cells so it's very interesting you can just easily change the cells when you, as you need, you don't have to bring a charger with you anywhere that's why the military like them and the police like them <coughs> you also have here, I'll just lever it off a door containing your memory card and USB port okay now these are behind the sealed door because this whole unit's waterproof and I believe it's waterproof to at least a metre so you can take that to the swimming pool. It comes in a nice case um, full of accessories, mounting various mounting brackets, mounting hardware and also this is quite nifty it comes with a wireless remote control so when you're on your bike or vehicle oops, you can just hit stop and start and away it goes. In fact, as I'm hitting it, I can hear this beeping. So that actually starts going. This is one of the various mounts it has. This is a magnetic mount. I think it's designed for a helmet. What I'm going to do is try to figure out how to permanently install this on the motorbike because I don't really want to carry this huge bit of wire um, around with me. So then I can have this on my helmet, this permanently affixed to the somewhere on the fairing. And um, see how that goes. Right, so I'm just going to take a quick uh, bit of video with, with it. The sound's not very good. The sound, the microphone's in the cable here. Um, the camera is quite nice, by the way. It's really nice anodized uh, metal, very nice machining, nice looking lens. I mean, this is a quality piece of kit. This is obviously designed for the military or police. I imagine it's very rugged. All these screws here on the unit are actually really real screws. They're not just there for effect. Um, I'm going to be cutting some video in from this camera so you can see what it's like. Uh, this is a particularly not, not great light. Oh, and you can now see my uh, new camera. I'm going to monitor this now on the screen here to make sure you're getting a good view of it. Uh, there we go. It's a very wide uh, view. I actually have compared this to the um, Garmin Verb, and this camera is much wider, a much wider field of view. Right, so let's uh, stop this recording, save it here. I'll cut that in and we'll have a look. Right, so I'm just going to take a quick uh, bit of video with, with it. The sound's not very good. The sound, the microphone's in the cable here. Um, the camera is quite nice, by the way. It's really nice anodized uh, metal, very nice machining, nice looking lens. I mean, this is a quality piece of kit. This is obviously designed for the military or police. I imagine it's very rugged. All these screws here on the unit are actually really real screws. They're not just there for effect. Um, I'm going to be cutting some video in from this camera so you can see what it's like. 
this is a particularly not not great light. Oh, and you can now see my uh, new camera. I'm going to monitor this now on the screen here to make sure you're getting a good view of it. Uh, there we go. It's a very wide uh, view. I actually have compared this to the um, Garmin Verb, and this camera is much wider, a much wider field of view. Right, so let's... Okay, as you've seen, the recording's not too bad. Uh, definitely for £80, that's fantastic. For 500 I don't know really if it compares well to one of these, which you can probably get for two, three hundred pounds depending on the specification. But all in all, uh, HPD Pro, if you need something rugged, need something waterproof, probably won't break, try to find one of these. Thanks for watching.